Hello everyone, in these next two videos we will be looking at ways to uh, automate the process of finding the best threshold in a histogram. So in the previous video we've seen the basic idea of uh, histogram thresholding for segmentation, but we chose the threshold manually just by looking at the histogram and trying to find uh, where to best cut it in two. Now we will um, try to look at two different ways with first the optimal threshold and then in the next video the Otsu threshold. So that, uh, a way to uh, algorith algorithmic ah, algorithmically um, determine what the uh, best threshold is. And of course, um, the, the result of such an algorithm will depend on um, what criteria we uh, we decide to use to 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 to, um, to to describe what best means in terms of uh, histogram thresholding, and so let's um, illustrate that by taking a look at uh, this uh, notebook. Uh, and here I have loaded, as usual, uh, an, an image here, the airplane image, so which is a grayscale image, and. If we look at the uh, at the histogram, we can we we, we can see that um, we we have kind of one large distribution of, of dark pixel and one uh, smaller here distribution of um, of much uh, lighter pixels. And intuitively, we 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 kind of can make the um, the. Uh, the, 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 the link between these two distributions and the image that we that we see or we can see that there is clearly a region of the image that tends to be to have uh, lighter pixels and a region of the image the building in this case where the pixels tend to be darker and this is the only kind of um, of images of course where this um, this uh, segmentation based purely on um, on, the th on thresholding the, 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 the value will give us an interesting result. Uh, this is something that we already talked about in previous video. We need to have a direct link between the object that we are trying to detect and the, the value of the uh, pixels. And so in many of the um, of the these uh, automatic thresholding uh, methods the base the base assumption that we are making is that we have two distinct distributions uh, present in the uh, that, that form the, the histogram, and so the goal will be to find a, a threshold such th that the, those two distributions are separated as well as possible. Um, and so one way to do that is with the optimal threshold uh, algorithm, and so. If we if we take a look step by step at, at this algorithm, this is uh, an iterative algorithm, and the idea is that we start with an histogram. So here between we have um, uh, bins that go between zero and two hundred and fifty-five, uh, and for each of these bins we have a value, which is the number of pixels which have that particular uh, value, and we'll start with an initial threshold that will be somewhere between zero and two fifty-five. And so in the optimal threshold, first we cut the distribution in uh, two parts. So first part from zero to the threshold and then from the threshold to 255. And so we get two separate uh, histograms. And for each of those two, we will compute the uh, centroid. So we will compute the centroid of the part of the distribution from zero to t and then from t to 255. 55. Um, and once we have the two centroids, we will determine the new threshold to be exactly between those two uh, centroids. So we want to, to find the point that where, where the, the two centroids are at equal distance from this uh, new threshold. And then from this new threshold, we will recompute everything. So again, cut the distribution in two parts, but this time around this new threshold, compute the centroid, compute the new threshold, etc., etc. And we will do that until the new threshold does not move anymore. So until the new threshold is equal to the uh, old threshold. So how can we um, quickly do that uh, in the code? So here I have made a, a method um, to compute this uh, optimal threshold. And we can see here the different steps. So first we cut the distribution in two. So we take in the first part, the histogram from zero to T, and then in the second part from T to the end. 
In each of those, we compute the uh, centroid. So yeah, I'm using, um, again, uh, some uh, um, the bro NumPy uh, broadcasting. So to first do uh, the uh, computation element by element. So I'm taking the, uh, with a range from 0 to t, this will give me an array that goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc., until t minus 1. Uh, so this will give me the uh, i here in this, uh, in this uh, formula that I multiply by uh, h, uh, so uh, in each element I multiply the, 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 the value in the histogram by uh, i, I sum on all of that, and then I divide it by just the sum of the, um, of the values of, the, of this part of the histogram. I do the same for the second uh, centroid, and then we can compute the new threshold, and I will uh, convert that to uh, an, an integer since uh, well the, 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 the type here of my image is uh, 8 bits uh, unsigned integers and so I know that uh, um, th it doesn't make really any sense to have, there is no difference between threshold at uh, 126.5 or threshold, threshold 126.9 it's the same uh, it's the same tr tr uh, threshold in this case um, and so I'm just rounding it and, and casting it to, uh, to, uh, to integer. And anyway, for this operation, I need t to be uh, an integer uh, or numpy will uh, return an error. Uh, here I just print, uh, I will just print the um, intermediate values just to have, uh, to look at what's uh, happening. And if we have not converged to, um, to, to, to a stable threshold, we just call the uh, function uh, again, uh, otherwise we return what we have found. So let's have a look at, um, at what uh, this does. So here I'm computing the, the histogram um, for, the, for the image uh, and then calling this method, starting with uh, a basic threshold of 127. So I start just right in the middle to have a look at uh, what's happening. And here I can see that in just three uh, steps, I converge to a value, which is 115. And so if we take a look at what's happening in the, um, in the process, well, we can see that uh, first we computed the, uh, the two centroids and by cutting at 127, so 127 is uh, some, somewhere here, the first um, centroid will be around 44. So this brings us uh, over here. So this is the centroid of the part of distribution that goes from zero to 127. And the other one is 189, which is somewhere over here. And then if we take the midpoint between those two, uh, we get 117. And then we use that as a new threshold. We recompute the centroid, it gives us 43, 186 a new threshold at 115 and this uh, this time it converges we can see that the new centroids are uh, almost at the same place and we uh, stay at the same uh, threshold um, so the threshold is uh, 115 one thing that we can uh, do is try to uh, um, to see if this is a stable uh, threshold so this is something that's uh, always interesting to to check is if we change a bit the uh, starting point do we converge to the same value or do we have different possibilities so if i take for instance here 100 i will see that it will take uh, one more uh, iteration but i will converge to the same uh, value if i start at 200 again i get to 115 if I go much lower, at 20 for instance, it takes a lot more steps to, to, to converge to that, but I still converge to the same value. If I go to 40, again, I converge to the same value. So wherever I start basically in the uh, original histogram, I always converge to uh, this uh, optimal threshold of 115, which seems to be uh, the, um, the best one here. Um, so let's uh, have a look at what this uh, does to, to, to our, our image. And uh, here we can see um, the, uh, the, the, the original image. This is the mask that I get by thresholding at 117. And this is applying the mask to the uh, original image. And as usual with these kinds of algorithm, I have a result that is relatively noisy. I can use, uh, like we did in the previous uh, video, um, morphological operation to uh, kind of clean up the results and get uh, a, a mask that, um, that is uh, yeah, a, lot, uh, 
a lot cleaner um, to, that we can that we can use here to separate the two uh, the two parts. And again, the result is almost never uh, perfect with these kinds of uh, of, uh, of methods. Um, we, we can see that some the, the, the parts of the building that are uh, basically the parts that are illuminated directly by the, the sun and which therefore are uh, lighter uh, will uh, be part will be seen as part of the sky uh, in this uh, in this particular instance. Uh, we cannot avoid that with uh, a method purely based on uh, histogram thresholding, since those parts of the building are actually lighter than the sky, so we will never be able to to uh, to get them as part of the building, uh, just with uh, this kind of uh, of thresholding. Um, but the result for such a simple algorithm is still uh, pretty decent. Um, and just to, to have a look uh, at the same um, at the same image that we uh, that we had uh, that we used in the previous uh, video, so the, uh, the the color image uh, from the um, from the beach, we can do the same um, the same thing. Uh, for for that image, so if we look at the histogram, so if we just um, remember what we what we had done, uh, we take the image, we convert it to HSV, we take a reference point in the sky and compute the um, distance in color space for every pixel to that uh, reference pixel, and we can use that to uh, create uh, a grayscale image, which has also uh, a histogram. This histogram, uh, so the values now are going from zero to something like 1.2. Um, instead of from zero to two hundred and fifty-five, um, but we uh, we can still use the same the same algorithm. It's just that the we have to be careful that the optimal threshold uh, in this case will not uh, give us directly the value, but it will give us the uh, kind of the index of the bin that uh, corresponds to um, to uh, to the threshold that we that we want to use, and so if we want to get the uh, threshold from this uh, bin, we have to take well the um, being part of bin uh, of a certain bin means that uh, the va the um, the value is somewhere between uh, bins b and bins b plus one. So we'll take just the, the middle of that as the as the new uh, threshold. Um, so I can uh, compute it, and I can see that if I start again from uh, somewhere in the in the middle of the of the histogram, um, I will uh, it will take a few steps, but I eventually iterate to the bin number ninety six, which correspond to a value of around zero point four three five. In the previous um, video, we had used uh, manually by looking at it a threshold of around zero point four, so it's fairly close to to what we had, but um, this time it's. Uh, an automatic uh, process that uh, that got us there, so we didn't we don't actually have to look at the histogram. It's uh, automatically um, found for us, and we can um, in the same way look at the result. So we have uh, the original image, the mask, and uh, the uh, the resulting uh, the mask applied to the image. Look at, at what we what we've got. And this is a, a similar result to what we had um, again in the previous video, but this time the process is fully uh, automated. Uh, so that's it for this video, and in the next one we will look at uh, Otsu thresholding.